Okay, guys, so I'm going to try to simplify this as easily as I can. So recently, Warpath was mentioned as being the best DPS weapon for Axis. Now, the reason why that was is because the most recent vendor role had Cluster Bombs, Field Scouts, and Tripod. I actually ended up picking that up last night before we actually went into the raid. And for the longest time, Dart Drinker has held the number one spot as being the best DPS weapon for Axis. So I really wanted, I was curious about testing it out. So the weapons you're going to be seeing us test out today is actually going to be Dart Drinker, we're going to be testing out his Vengeance, which is the Vault of Glass rocket launcher. We're also going to be testing out Warpath. And just to kind of throw into the mix, because there was a rocket launcher that rolled this past week with the same rolls that Warpath rolled with, is the Unto Dust Dead Orbit rocket launcher. It also rolled with Tripod, uh, Field Scout, and Cluster Bomb. So I wanted to see exactly if that one could stack up to the other three in terms of DPS. Now let me go ahead and show you the numbers real quick of what we were looking at. So Rick Cack is right here, and again, he's rocking his and Vengeance was rocking 338,165 damage. Uh, Burgers, who is the one rocking Dark Drinker, was ro hitting 405,775. Uh, I was rocking out Warpath right here at 394,751. Now, the second test that we did, we ended up doing some various different numbers. Burgers only hit at 357,456. Uh, I did 415,900. And Rick Ack is there at 289,000. 753 now you'll notice the the differences in number here and let me just go ahead and explain how we were testing this out we would essentially slam them twice on the third slam that's when we would back up and literally just pump all of our ammo everything we can into them but nothing else there was no weapons of light no tether this was purely based on how much damage we could do with one set of rockets and a, a full set of rockets and so essentially i was holding eight rockets uh how much damage we can do be, compare between that that's a full set of heavy uh, ammo capacity for Dart Drinker and uh, the same thing for, for Rick Kakis and his Vengeance. And so a multitude of times Warpath was doing really good. Now you saw where Burgers actually, uh, you know, lag. again, it all comes down to the, how fast you can actually get. You know, the beautiful thing about using Warpath is you don't have to be right there on top of them. You don't have to get to them. And so Burgers, you know, one of those times he had to actually get there in time to actually start being able to DPS. Uh, the beautiful thing about using a rocket launcher is you're immediately being able to just start DPS in anywhere you're at and now the the third screenshot I'm going to show right here guys is actually one that I was using uh, with unto dust now this one right here you see burgers is right back at that 400k um, but then you see Rick Kack is right here at 405,000 um, and that is again with his vengeance which is really surprising because you saw the numbers before were both very lacking uh, and then my number was at 338 there with uh, unto dust now the fluctuations there seem pretty severe and I know you know that that seems odd it really also comes down to where you're shooting axis I find that shooting him in almost his chest area in that area and it allows the the cluster bombs to come down really works the best not shooting directly at the leg so actually shooting up on it almost like on the stock of him and letting those cluster bombs come down and hit him as it goes in and, and it almost looks like it hits twice in a way the way it hits and so you're raining cluster bombs on them and so I I really think that it comes to positioning and I I think all three of these is really good. It just comes down to labeling the pros and cons. I think Unto Dust, by the way, is not probably the, the way to go after testing it then and in other times. I was not feeling how it, it felt in comparison to Warpath. It does have a faster fire rate, but it just didn't seem to match up in terms of DPS compared to the others. I think his and Vengeance is not bad either, but you have a very slow rate of fire. The beautiful thing about Warpath is I'm able to pump out uh, all of my rockets and then turn around and continue sniping and so that makes life a lot easier uh, and burgers having dart drinker is really nice because if he needs to take down captains whatever he needs to do he can do that uh, but then you have the con of actually having to to get to access uh, to actually start doing DPS immediately now that's not a problem for some but for others it may be so again I think there's pros and cons for each of these it just depends on on you. If you've got a dark drinker and you feel very comfortable enough to get to where you need to get to do DPS, 
Definitely the way to go. Me personally, I was doing my best with Warpath. I uh, I had eight rockets in total with a chest piece uh, for a Titan, and I was doing lots of damage. But it wasn't just the damage I was doing Warpath. It was the damage that it it had good reload, it had a good rate of fire and good DPS, and then I could turn around and swap to a sniper and continue and doing DPS. All of those things were really adding up and doing substantial numbers for me uh, in terms of the the end game and afterwards when we when we got done doing the entire challenge so guys that's my thoughts on it man i think there are there are three options that are very good options uh i also think that you know like i said it, it comes down to whichever one is best for you and which one ever one you're more used to and so if you feel more comfortable with one or the other go with that if you don't have a warpath or if you didn't get the vendor roll warpath last week uh Hez and vengeance wasn't doing necessarily terrible you can see the damage numbers that was doing it was doing pretty decently again the only downside being is you will be subjected to that slow rate of fire and that's kind of a killer in terms of other things you could be doing and DPS with like a sniper. So despite all the little buzz and stuff about all these these new found weapons or new found rocket launchers that might be doing really good against Axis, always remember, man, use the cannons. The cannons are definitely the best way to go. I saw people earlier just not wanting to pick up cannons, and that's like what? That's like free, free fucking DPS. So definitely use cannons, guys. Don't forget about those and uh, utilize those as much as you possibly can. Guys, as always, man, thank you so much for coming and watching this video. If you need a challenge guide, I'm sure Cactus will have one up later on his channel and as always guys thank you so much for coming and watching slap that like button like your mama told you right